بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وقال الله تعالى في سورة الإسراء أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن هذا القرآن يهدي للتي هي أقوم ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا كبيرا وأن الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة أعتدنا لهم عذابا أليما الله سبحانه وتعالى says in these ayat these ayat from سورة الإسراء إن هذا القرآن verily or indeed this Quran يهدي للتي هي أقوم this Quran guides to what to that which is just and right Verily, this Qur'an guides to that which is just and correct. وَيُبَشِّرُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And it gives glad tidings to the mu'mineen, to the believers. Who are the mu'mineen? الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ These are the ones who do righteous good deeds. يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ Righteous good deeds. أَنَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا كَبِيرًا Also gives them glad tidings of something of a great reward ajran kabira then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the next ayah wa anna alladhina la yu'minuna bil akhirah and as for those who do not believe who do not believe in the akhirah a'tadna lahum azaban alima for them we have prepared a painful a painful torment a painful punishment as for those who do not believe in the Akhirah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that He has prepared for them عذاباً أليما, a painful punishment. These are the ayat from Surah Al-Isra and we looked at the meaning of these ayat. Coming to the grammatical aspect from what we have studied so far. So if you look at هذا القرآن هذا القرآن which murakab is this? This is murakab ishari. This is murakab ishari. This is something that we looked into the previous class, right? So in murakab ishari, there are two parts, right? Musharun ilay and ism al ishara, right? If you look at the musharun ilay, al qurana, al qurana. By looking at the Musharun Ilay, can you tell the I'rab the status of this Murakab? Is it Rafa' or is it Nasb or is it Jar? It is Nasb. Why? Because of Al Quran Na. As for Hadha, we studied that the Ismal Ishara, Hadha, is Mabni, which means it looks the same in all the three I'rab, all the three statuses, right? So, from Musharun Ilay, you will be able to identify as to in which status or Arab the Murakkab is. Moving on to Al Mu'minina. Al Mu'minina, right? Is this something that we covered? It is Jama'ah. Is it Jama'ah Salim or is it Jama'ah Mukassar? It's Jama'ah Salim, right? It is a Sifa, which it is. Uh, a jama salim and we said that jama salim is usually for the sifat for the adjectives or the qualities so the believers al mu'mini na and what is the status of al mu'mini na is it nasb is it jar is it what what is it nasb. it is nasb how can you say that Because of the haraka or because of the sound? Remember the una, ina, una, ina, right? So at this point, we can say that it is not rafa, but we cannot say whether it is nasb or jar, according to, according to the concepts that we have covered so far. We cannot differentiate between nasb and jar, but it is nasb, that is correct, it is nasb. And the reason why is something that we haven't covered so far, so we will not go into it. Inshallah, we'll study at a later time. Alladheena ya'maloona al-salihati. Al-salihati. 
الصالحاتي remember آتن and آتن آتن and آتن right so this is also a jama salim the jama salim of muannath right the atun and atin sound as for the tanween there is no tanween on both al mu'minina and as salihati and the reason for that is the alif lam the alif lam right because we know that alif lam and tanween they are enemies to each other right so saliha tin becomes as salihati right so is this rafa is this nasb or is this jar how can you say that remember the atun and atin so atin is for nasb and jar right atun the sound of atun is for raf only and atin is both for nasb and jar so at this point we cannot really say yeah. if it is nasb or jar because we haven't studied those concepts right so it is either nasb or jar uh anna lahum ajran kabiran ajran kabiran right so is this rafa is this nasb or is this jar ajran kabiran right is this jama or is this wahid or is this muthanna ajr ajrun ajrun right it is wahid so ajrun ajran ajrin right right so ajran is nasb and kabiran is nothing but the sifa of ajran right remember mausuf sifa so which is the mausuf and which is the sifa ajran is the mausuf and kabiran is the sifa so ajran كبيرًا، right؟ وأن الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة أعتدنا لهم عذابًا أليمًا، عذابًا أليمًا، عذابًا أليمًا، عذابًا أليمًا، same same concept، right؟ is this نصب or جر؟ نصب. how can we say that؟ عذابٌ، عذابٌ is the رفع. عذابٌ عذابٌ عذابٍ right and then أليمًا is the صفة right صفة of عذاب so in English a painful punishment or a painful torment right and for this أجرًا كبيرًا a big or a great reward right in last session we looked into مركب Ishari, right? And we said that there are two parts to Murakab Ishari, Musharun Ilay and Ismal Ishara. And which is the main entity? Musharun Ilay. Musharun Ilay is the main thing. And the Ismal Ishara is according to Musharun Ilay. And also remember the sequence. We said that in English and Arabic, the sequence for Murakab Ishari is same. This book. So this comes first, book comes next. And also for Arabic, Hazal Kitabu. So which comes first? Hadha, right? Hadha. Hadha comes first, and in English, this comes first. So it's the same sequence. As for Murakab Tawsifi, as for Murakab Tawsifi, the sequence was opposite, right? In English, the sifa or the adjective or the quality comes first, a tall boy. But in Arabic, waladun tawilun. So the mausuf comes first and the sifa. So remember this concept. Now, if I want to say two books, if I want to say two books, so we have hazal kitabu, right? We have hazal kitabu and this is in rafa. We can say that by looking at the haraka, because this is a wahid ism. If I want to say these two books, these two books, how would we say that?
Hazanil Kitabani. Hazanil Kitabani. Right? If I want to say these books, meaning more than two, these books, what will I say? Haulai or Hazihi. Hazihi. Right? Remember the Aqil Ghair Aqil thing? So ha hazi hil kutubu hazi hil kutubu wahid hazi al kitabu muthanna hazan al kitabani an jama hazi hil kutubu hazi hil kutubu not ha ulai and the reason for that is the it books are come under the category of غير عاقل so this was for رفر this was for رفر if I want to say these this book in نسب this book in نسب so what would I say هذا ال هذا الكتابة هذا الكتابة right what about مثنى what about مثنى ها هذين الكتابين هذان هذين remember when we studied the أسماء الإشارة we said that the Musanna form is not Mabni is not Mabni the Wahid and the Jama' forms are Mabni Hadha, Hadha, Hadha right? Haulai, Haulai, Haulai Rafa' Nasb, Jar what about Musanna? Hadhani, Hadhaini, Hadhaini right? so Hadhainil Kita Baini Ha Zainil Kita Baini Right? Ani Aini Ani Aini Always remember that And what about the Jama' هذه الكتب هذه الكتب هذه الكتب واحد مثنى جمع رفع نسب and جر so what about the جر form of واحد I missed the alif over here هذا الكتاب B right now do you understand why we have two alif but they are not red right so هذا الكتاب هذا الكتاب what about the مثنى for جر it's the same right so هذين الكتابين هذين الكتابين what about the jar for jama hazihil kutubi hazihil kutubi so now we know that this is wahid this is muthanna and this is jama this is raf this is nasb and this is jar now you know the differences between the two, between the three columns, right? It's the differences in quantity or number. What about the difference in the rows? What do I mean? How would you translate the rough nasb and jar in English? This book, mm -hmm. this book, mm -hmm. this book. Yeah. What's the difference? 
there is no difference in the meaning. Yes. Remember? No difference in the meaning. This book, this book, this book. These two books, these two books, these two books. These books, these books, these books. So we are trying to refresh the meaning of Arab, the definition of Arab. Change in the status of the ism without change in the meaning of ism. Let's take the same concept for the aqil category so that we can look into the mazakkar and the mu'annas, right? Hazal muslimu, hazal muslimu, hazanil, hazanil, hazanil musli mani. And what about the jama? Ha ulai, not hazi, right? Ha ula il Musli Muslimuna Hadha al Muslimu Hadhan il Muslimani Ha ula il Muslimuna What about Nasp? Hadal Musli Ma. What about Musanna for Nasb? Hazaini Hazainil Hazainil Musli. Hazainil Muslimaini. And what about the Jama? Ha Ula il Ha ula il Muslimina. Ha ula il Muslimina. Has al Muslima. Hazain il Muslimaini. Ha ula il Muslimina. So in Muthanna it's Ani and Aini. And in Jama it is Una and Ina. Una and Ina. What about the Jar form for Wahid Muzakkar? Hazal Musli Me Hazal Musli Me Hazainil Musli Maini That's right Hazainil Musli Maini Aini Aini And for the Jama'a in Jar Ha'ulayil Muslimina The same Right So Nasb and Jar For Muthanna and Jama'a Are exactly the same Right And the reason for that is so nasb and jar are same and the reason for that because the musharun ile is same musharun ile is same so we have aini over here and it's the same for nasb and jar right and we have ina over here which is the same for nasb and jar in the previous example when we were talking about has al kitab so the jama was not salim the jama was mukassar right and the arab of jama mukassar is through the haraka it's not through the sound so it was hazihil kutuba hazihil kutubi that's the reason why they were different but over here because the jama is jama salim and in jama salim the nasb and jar for muthanna and jama are the same so that's why it's the same over here 
over here the the Arab of Wahid Ism is shown by the Haraka. The Arab of Wahid Ism is by the Haraka, not by the sound. So that's why you have Hadal Muslimu, Hadal Muslima, and Hadal Muslimin. What about Mu'annath? Hadihil. Muslimatu, Hadihil Muslimatu, and the Nasb and Jar Hadihil Musli Mata, and the Jar. هذه المسلمة. So for مؤنث we have هذه المسلمة تو هذه المسلمة تا and هذه المسلمة تي for واحد. مثنى it would be ها هذاني or هاتاني هاتاني. هاتان المسلمتان and what about the نسب انجر for مثنى مؤنث ها هاتين هاتين المسلمة تين هاتين المسلمة تين and the نسب and جر would be the same right the نسب and جر would be the same what about the جمع هؤلاء ال هؤلاء المسلمات هؤلاء المسلمات هؤلاء المسلمات So for Nasb and Jar, it is Hatainil Muslimataini for Muthanna and for Jama'a Haulail Muslimati. Nasb and Jar would be the same, right? Examples from the Quran. So the ayah that we started in the beginning. Inna hadha al Qur'ana. Inna hadha al Qur'ana. And hadha al Qur'ana, over here as you can see, it is in Nasb form. Right, and you can make that out from Musharun Ilay. Right, Hadal Baiti, Hadal Baiti, Suratul Quraysh, Suratul Quraysh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Li Ilafi Quraysh, Ilafihim, Rihlet Shita Iwa Saif, Faliyah Budu, Rabba, Hadal Yarhamuka. فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ By looking at هَذَا الْبَيْتِ You can say that it is in Jar And that is because of مُشَارٌ إِلَيْهِ فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said 
so that they should worship the Rabb of Hadha al-Bayti, the Rabb of this house, the Lord of this house, right? Hadha al-Balada, Hadha al-Balada. What does this mean? Al-Balad is a city, a city or a country, depending on the context. So, Hadha al-Balada, this city, right? If I add if I add Al Amina, Al Amina, right? So what does the translation become from this city to this city which has Amn in it? Or which has peace or security. So this secure or peaceful city, this peaceful city or this secure city. Surah Teen, Surah Teen, right? Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Wattini, wazaytoon, wattini wazaytoon, wa hazal baladil amin." This form that is written over here is in Nasb, right? So, if I were to write in Jar form, that would be Baladil Amini, Baladil Amini, Hadal Baladil Amini. So, Wattini was Zaytun, Waturi Sinina, Wahadal Baladil Amini. Right, and the meaning of that is this peaceful or this secure city. Hazil Hayatu, Hazil Hayatu. If I add Hazil Hayatu Dunya, Hazil Hayatu Dunya, right. Hazi al Haya means Hayatu. Life. This life. If I add Ad Dunya, Hazi al Hayatu Dunya, what does it become? This worldly life. This worldly life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Al Ankabut, Wama Hazi al Hayatu Dunya illa lahun wa laibun. وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةَ لَهِيَ الْحَيَوَانُ لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ In Surah Al-Ankabut, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا لَهْوٌ وَلَعِبٌ هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا If I add If I add lahun wa laibun, lahun means diversion, laibun means play or amusement. So if I add this to hadhil hayatud dunya, doesn't it become a jumla ismiya? Right? Hadhil hayatud dunya lahun wa laibun, in which hadhil hayatud dunya is the mubtada and lahun wa laibun is khabar. Right? So this becomes that this worldly life is diversion and play, diversion and amusement, right? In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses in a different sense, in a different format. وَمَا هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا Lahun wa laibun, right? So this is something that we will study later on, insha'Allah. But the simple jumla ismiya changes its format and becomes like a question, a rhetorical question. And what is the worldly life except for play and amusement, diversion and amusement? And then Allah says, 
وإن الدار الآخرة لهي الحيوان As for the الدار الآخرة دار means home The home of the hereafter The home of the hereafter لهي الحيوان That is the actual home Or that is the eternal home لو كانوا يعلمون But only if they knew But only if they knew So subhanallah this worldly life, Allah says that it is nothing but play and amusement, diversion, distraction and amusement. And as for the actual or the eternal home is the Darul Akhirah, is the home of the hereafter. Law kanu ya'lamun, but only if they were to know. So over here in Hadhi al Hayatul Dunya, Hadhi al Hayatul Dunya. What is the tarkeep of this? Uh, what is the tarkeep of this uh, phrase? What What is the tarkeep of this murakab? The structure of this murakab. So we have musharun ilay and ismul ishara, right? Musharun ilay is al hayatul dunya, and ismul ishara is hadhi, right? And then in al hayatul dunya, we have Mausuf and Sifa. Mausuf and Sifa. What is the Mausuf? Al Hayatu. And what is the Sifa? Al Dunya. Al Dunya. Now, if you notice, okay, before that. So, Mausuf is Al Hayatu and Al Dunya is the Sifa. Mausuf and Sifa together, they become the Musharun Ilay. And then Musharun Ilay and Ismail Ishara become. Murakab Ishari. So it's like a Murakab Tawsifi nested inside a Murakab Ishari. Right? If you ask me the question that we have Al Hayatu over here and then Al Dunya over here. Right? So if you remember in Murakab Tawsifi, the Sifa and Mausuf, they should be in sync. Right? They should go together. So over here it is. Uh, over here it is rough over here also it is rough but we have a dhamma over here and a fatha over here so what is the reason for that what is the reason for that so this word ad dunya this word as ad dunya is coming from a different form it's coming from a different form like for example we have the word Akbaru, right? I think we, we touched this uh, slightly in one of the previous classes where when we were studying Munsarif and Ghair Munsarif, right? Akbaru is the, the actual word is Kabir, right? Kabirun. And Akbaru is like the superlative or comparative form, right? Akbaru is Rafa and then Nasb and Jar would be Akbara, Akbara. So Akbaru, Akbara, Akbara. Right, and the meaning of that is the superlative or comparative. So, if you are comparing it with someone else, then the meaning of greater than would come into play, as in the English language. Like, for example, Hamad is bigger than Zed. Right, so over here, if you use the word Akbaru. The meaning is that of comparison. But if you say, just say Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, the meaning of superlative degree in the English language means Allah is the greatest or the biggest of all, right? So Akbaru is the superlative or the comparative form of Kabirun, right? And similarly, we have. Asgharu, Asgharu, Akbaru, Asgharu, Zagirun, Asgharu, right? And then Ahsanu, Ahsanu. Now these are all Muzakkar, these are all Muzakkar. What about Mu'annas?
kubra kubra akbaru kubra kubra is the mu'annath the same word but when used for females right kubra so what would be for asghar sughra sughra and for ahsan husna husna right now you have you may be thinking what does this have to do with the word dunya right because we were looking into why this word is like that so now what is this word adnayu adnayu now it does not look really well when you say that so this adnayu becomes adna adna right and what is the feminine for that the same way we have akbaru kubra asgharu sughra ahsanu husna so, this is how the word dunya now over here it comes with an alif so because of like a different script this changes into this so the original word is dunya and then because of the script changes that becomes dunya like this so the muzakkar form is adnayu adnayu or adnayu is difficult to say that's why adnayu becomes adna adnayu becomes adna what does it mean by adna do you know the meaning of adna something which is adna adna means something which is lowly or minimum something at a low level and the feminine for that is dunya the feminine for that is dunya so what do we understand from this the dunya is, is a low level thing yes dunya is a low level thing and that is why as it comes in one of the hadith that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that if dunya was to allah something i'm paraphrasing the hadith if dunya was to allah like the wing of a mosquito the wing of a mosquito which has no value absolutely no value then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not give even a drop of water to the disbeliever right so it means that the dunya is adna and it is adna lesser than the wing of a mosquito because if it was as if the value of the wing of mosquito and all subhanahu wa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wouldn't give water a sip of water a drop of water right subhanallah so this is what you get when you study the arabic language adnayu dunya so whenever you come across dunya just remember that it's coming from adna which means which is very low minimum so if, if i want to say let's do this orally if i want to say these two pens are new these two pens are new how would you so say that so start from the scratch qalamun qalamun and for two pens qalamani right and for these two pens no for two oh, not for three hazanil qalamani hazanil qalamani new the word for new is jadidun so for musanna it is jadi jadidani hazanil qalamani jadidani simple right so start from the scratch these two pens are old hazanil qalamani qadimun is the word qadi qadimani qadimani hazanil qalamani qadimani right if i want to say 
these two houses are beautiful and the word for house wahid house is baitun baitun Are beautiful. Jamilun. Hazanil Baitani Jamilani. Hazanil Baitani Jamilani. Right? If I want to say these two cars are beautiful. Hazani. Hatanis Sayara Hatanis Sayarata Sayaratani. These cars beautiful. Hatani Hatanis Sayaratani Jamilatani Jamilatani, right? So for houses it was Jamilani, and for cars it is Jamilatani. So Hatanis Sayara. Tani, Jamila, Tani, right? If I want to say these cars are beautiful, these cars. Sayaratun. Sayaratun is the word for wahid sayara, right? For wahid, for uh, one car, it's sayaratun. So first, get the jama' for this. Will it be a jama' salim or jama' mukassar? Jama' salim. Sayaratun. Sayaratun. All right? Sayaratun. Okay? Now, Sayaratun, if I want to say these cars, will it be Haulai or will it be Hadihi? Hadihi Sayaratu. And then beautiful? Jami? Jamilatun. Right? هذه السيارات جميلة جميلة right why جميلة غير آخر غير آخر right otherwise if it was عقل for example for example if it was رجل let's say these men are handsome for example we don't use the word beautiful so these men are handsome. So it would have been, it would have been Haula irrajulu Haula irrajulu Jami Luna Jami Luna, right? Because Una Ina, Una Ina for Jama Salim. So Haula irrajulu Jami Luna. But because this is Sayyaratun, which is Ghair Aqil. So we would not say ha, we would not say ha ulai rather ha zihi ha zihi sayyaratu ha zihi sayyaratu jamilatun not jamiluna or if it's muannath the actual word have been jamilatun jamilatun right atun atin atun atin so jamilatun but instead of jamilatun we would say jamilatun because of Aqil ghair aqil thing. Any questions? Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadwalla ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.